Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to Rob Motive. Today, I want to talk about a few mistakes I've made over the years with the Toyota Tacoma, particularly with things that I've added, mods and stuff. So we're going to jump right in. The first one, and probably the biggest mistake that I ever made, was going with a block and spacer lift. Now, let me preface this by saying that if it's your only alternative and you've got to have a lifted truck, well then the block and spacer is an okay way to go if you don't care anything about ride quality. And that's what I discovered. Now, there's another component of this which also affects ride quality, so the combination of the two. But the first was just the block and spacer lift. It just compressed everything and tightened everything up. And I noticed almost immediately when I left the, the facility that installed it uh, that I had really sacrificed a lot of ride quality. There were some railroad tracks that I went over and man, it really hit going over those tracks. Just wasn't uh, a really great idea. I would recommend going with either some sort of a suspension lift or adjustable Bilstein shocks they seem to be the best ride that you can get without spending tons and tons of money. Obviously, you can spend a fortune and still have a good ride, but for a good economical lift, I think the Bilstein adjustables are the way to go. Next up, and this is the other part of the lift that I did, and that was 20 inch wheels and bigger tires particularly a specific type of tire, which I'll get to in just a minute. But I put 20 inch wheels on that truck. It was the red, Barcelona red Toyota Tacoma that I had. If you've been watching the channel for a while, then you're familiar with that truck. Awesome looking color, by the way. But the ride quality of those tires and the bigger wheels was just terrible. And it was really because I had reduced the tread wall the thickness between the wheel itself and the bottom of the tire. That wall shrunk, which means a lot more of the bumps and things that I went over was simply being transmitted through the wheels to me inside the truck. It was a horrible ride. Next up, the tires were too big. You know, when I left the shop, I thought I felt something rub, something a little bit off. And this is in combination with the offset on those as well. But I could feel something. And what I was feeling was right inside the wheel well, right up against some of the suspension components inside. Right along here, I felt a rub. And sure enough, when I got home and looked, there was a nice clean spot here. And it's because when the truck articulated, as I was turning and going over bumps, it was rubbing right across here. And that wasn't a good thing. I also was rubbing right up there in the front. Now, you may notice in looking at mine now, it's all dirty. And this is really the easiest way to tell if you have any kind of rub. If you have a nice clean spot or even a worn spot on that fender or inner fender, fender liner, that's tough to say, then you've got a rub. And notice, I don't have anything across there. It's all nice and dirty, and that's what I want to see. Now, what I'm running for reference, these are a 265-70 R16 tire, and they're on a 16-inch wheel with a minus 10 offset. Now, what that gets me is the wheel poke that I want. Nothing extreme, but it brings the tires out just a little bit, maybe about, I don't know, as you're looking down the edge here, about two to three inches or something to the very edge of the tire itself, comparing it to the fender edge right here on the side. It's a perfect look for the truck in my opinion, although I realize this can be personal preference. I love the way that the truck looks and I don't have any issues with rubbing anywhere in the fender well, in the front or the back, or any of the components underneath. I think it's a good setup, and there is no lift on this truck. This is factory stock. Next big mistake I made, no drill hood struts. Now, this is because the company that makes them, and I'm sure there's only a, a handful, if, if even less than that, changed the design. Where those went was bolted on 
right up in here and then down here against the or up a, to the the hinge area and the bracket that they gave kind of floated up here and there was a gap between its edge and the hood itself that allowed for some movement some flexing of that material and it worried me that over time it was going to distort my hood or kind of make it off so that it didn't sit just right because when I would close it it would almost kind of bind it would turn one way or the other like it was pivoting on an axis point somewhere not a great setup easy to install but I much prefer the drill type and of course these are the red line tuning struts no I'm not sponsored by these people it's just a great product you do have to drill some holes a couple up here and then a couple down there to go ahead and put some rivets in a much more difficult install for sure or maybe a little bit more to worry about because when you're drilling the holes for the hood of course you're drilling up this way and if you go too far then you know what happens up here right but still they are the best ones out there next up exhaust you know I love louder exhausts, but I like them to be throatier sounding, more of a deep bass kind of a sound. I put one on the truck and it was tinny, tinny and drony. Did not sound good and I guess it goes back to you cannot get V8 sound out of a V6 engine. A big mistake that I made, something that I realize now. I did eventually go to a TRD exhaust some people have said that they notice a throatier sound with the TRD exhaust on the Tacoma. Personally, for the money that you spend, I don't think it's worth it. I just didn't really notice much, if anything at all. You're much better off going with a cold air intake of some sort. The one that I have that I get a lot of sound of is from Rough Country. It's a K&N, I believe, just rebranded. Re but I get a lot of sound out of this, and it gives me what I want. Next up, getting back to tires. On that first lift that I did on that Barcelona red truck, I went with Nitto Ridge Grapplers. Now, there's nothing wrong with Nitto Ridge Grapplers, except the compound is too hard. Too hard to get a, a smoother, more comfortable ride, in my opinion. And the reason they're so hard is because they really are more for off-road use. If you're going to be out there beating on your tires, going over rough and rocky terrain, stuff like that, the Nitto Ridge Grapplers are probably the way to go. They'll hold up really well because they are a harder compound, but definitely not so good for just daily road driving, in my opinion. Lastly, the front bumper cut, something that I did recently. On the previous truck that I had, the Magnetic Gray Metallic, I put this same bumper on and when I cut I didn't follow the line well enough I don't think or I took too much off and I had a gap over here and I was always thinking that this ridge on the bumper was supposed to go behind or underneath this front fascia piece the plastic piece of the bumper that's not true after doing it this time I'm convinced that it's supposed to go just like this and if you had it just perfect there would be no gap here whatsoever. But good luck in ever doing that because some of this you kind of have to take a leap of faith and eye a little bit. But this one has come out the best that I've had. The mistake I made before is I took too much off here. I highly recommend that if you're going to install this bumper or any other, that you go a little big when you make your cut. In other words, leave too much. You can always go back and adjust but you can't go back and add anything in. Anyway, I just wanted to make this video hoping to save some folks maybe some money or some aggravation out there, let you know the mistakes that I've made on these few things, so that if you're consider doing, considering doing any of them, uh, that maybe you won't make the mistakes that I made. Leave a comment, let me know. What mistakes have you made in modding your truck? Help us all out, I'd be very curious to know. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.